Hello and a pleasant welcome to the local news bulletin file here on Star Television Network Channel 21. I am Sienna Wright. First, the headlines. The Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security, Joseph Ndanema, has officially launched the first induction session for the first set of beneficiaries under the Agribusiness Service Matching Grant. This was a project that started before we came in. When I say we, the new director. Over 250 students have matriculated at the Lubin College of Social Sciences and Technology at their campus in Freetown. Today's society is a knowledge society. Things keep changing fast that anyone who stops learning will surely become a functional illiterate within a short time. The Royal Commonwealth Ex Services League, led by the Project Officer of West Africa, Derek Kobina, has revealed plans by the British government to lend support to the ex service personnel in all the British colonial territories. And through that, we're able to lobby and advocate and be able to help raise some funds for veterans, not just in Ghana, but across the world, through an organization in the UK called the Royal Commonwealth Ex Services League. And in sports, Frabe College University of Sierra Leone has concluded its annual Interhall Athletic Sports Meeting at the Shaka Stevens Stadium with Baibure Hall crown champions with 380 points. Those were the headlines. And now for the news in detail with me, Sienna Wright. The Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security, Joseph Ndanema, has officially launched the first induction session for the first set of beneficiaries under the Agribusiness Service Matching Grant, coordinated by the Smallholder Commercialization Project, SCARDEP, at a ceremony held in Bow City. Here is the report. Given her keynote address, the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security, Joseph Danema, noted that SCADEP is a coordinated organization under the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security, supported by the Ministry of Finance. He maintained that the establishment of SCADEP is to help in the realization of food self-sufficiency, adding that the government has identified three key ministries having much potential to revolutionize the economy, namely the Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources, Tourism and Agricultural Ministry. Joseph Ndanema maintained that the smallholder commercialization agricultural development projects, CADEP, is aimed at providing funds for profit registered agribusiness and off-taker companies in Sierra Leone and call on stakeholders to work together to advance CADEP development projects. SCADEP, as the coordinator pointed out, is a project designed by the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry with a very strong support from the Ministry of Finance. This was a project that started before we came in when I say we, the new director. But immediately we came, we called the bank and the management to order. We went through some review process to reflect the aspirations of the new direction. And that is what his Excellency, the President, the retired Brigadier Julius Mada, <coughs> had sought to accomplish during this of his first tenure of office. He revealed that the project is a five year program that seeks to promote agriculture commercialization through market linkage, market access improvement, support to states and non state actors, and project management and evaluation. In a PowerPoint presentation, the grant manager, SCADEP, Mr. Almami Kagbo, explained that the agricultural business matching grant is aimed at providing grants to producer organizations, PS, and small and medium enterprises along the value chain. 
to the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Trade, NAPSI, um, SLICA, SLIWOP, all them partners that they want to work with now, we they strengthen them because if we not strengthen them, they're not going to be able to work with now. So that is what we do. And the board components that are project management and coordination. So in short, that now what is kind of the do, and that now always today about. But for today, we want to focus no more on the second only window on that component one, whether the ASMG we make with the ASO today. So basically, we're going to talk about the, the, the ASMG, yeah? It could be recalled that in March 2017, the Sierra Leone Agribusiness Development Fund, SLADEF, was officially launched at the Bintumani Hotel Abadin in Freetown in collaboration with the fund manager KPMG, which was based on the first call for concept notes for funding under the SLADF for Star News in Freetown, compiled by Abdurrahman Kamara, read in our studios by Hassan Kouma. The Lubin College of Social Sciences and Technology has officially organized its first matriculation ceremony of over 250 matriculating students at their Allentown via Jewey Bridge campus in Freetown. Hassan Koroma has the detail. The well-attended matriculation ceremony at the Luban College of Technology and Social Sciences marks the official entry of new students into higher institutions of learning, which is a statutory gathering to formally admit deserving and qualified candidates who are fortunate to be admitted into the college. Given the welcome address, the chairman of the college, Board of Governors, Steve Lamine noted that this is a special occasion for matriculants going through the matriculation ceremony, describing that bold step as a move to conflict resolution, and implored all to work very hard and hope to see them here from now to celebrate laurels of graduation ceremony. Let me especially welcome you, the matriculants to Luban College, for the first time and wish you a pleasant stay. This is a special occasion for matriculants who are going through the matriculation ceremony. Today's society is a knowledge society. Things keep changing fast that anyone who stops learning will surely become a functional illiterate within a short time. I admonish you to mark very, very hard so that you will all again assemble here before us to celebrate laurels of a graduation ceremony. I ask the audience to join me share this matriculants. Hip, 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 hooray! Making his keynote address, the Executive Director and Principal of Luban College, Dr. Abdul Bangura, congratulates all matriculating students, thanking them for choosing the institution as their preferred choice. Dilating on the lecture process and continuous assessment, he says students are encouraged to be punctual in attending classes, as the minimum attendance of 75% required to examination hall. Choosing Luban College as an institution of first choice out of the numerous colleges in this country is a clear confirmation of the confidence we pose on us for our academic excellence known both nationally and internationally. My dear students and parents present here well wishes. I would like to assure you all in explicit terms that I am determined to uphold, protect and ensure the peaceful stay of all students in the Luban College. Matriculating students, the main objective of the matriculation exercise today is to acquaint you with the fundamental principles, norms and culture of this institution. These core values have projected the image of this institution as a center for learning and character modeling of our students. The core values also depict of the vision of our college, which is to nurture high standards and quality in producing academics, professionals, and entrepreneurs. As you heard from the song, we will not salvage quality. We will maintain standard and never salvage quality. No matter who you are, we will maintain that quality and standards. Advising the matriculating students on the disciplinary aspect, 
He called on them to exhibit what he referred to as high sense of discipline in and out of the college. Dr. Banguga also warned that the college will not award its diploma to students who are found wanting in character and in learning. The college does not permit any activities, any antisocial groups operating on the campus. In particular, membership of cult groups is prohibited and offenders will summarily be expelled. If you are caught in any occult society, occult processes will expel you immediately. As long as we verify, yes, that is the truth. You leave this campus because we are not here for that. We are here to build you in spirit, to build your mind and your body. And cultism does not. Making his remarks, the Registrar Luban College, Ayuba Sise, expands more on the courses offered. Courses of study at Luban College of Social Sciences and Technology. The college offers certificate, diploma, and higher national diploma courses with a duration of one year for the certificate and two years for the diploma, higher national diploma courses. The courses are, subsum are subsumed under three departments, namely management and finance, two, development and media studies, three, information technology and computer science. The Luban College of Social Sciences and Technology was established in 2012 in a bid to encourage manpower development training, help build the manpower capacity of the country at middle management level with a vision to raise leaders who are complete in spirit, mind and body. The occasion was climaxed with signing of the register and a drama performance by the Students' Union depicting the importance of education. For Star News in Freetown, Hassan Kouma reporting. You're still with the local news bulletin file here on Star Television Network Channel 21. And on to our next story. The Royal Commonwealth Ex Services League, led by the Project Officer of West Africa, Derek Corbina, has revealed plans by the British government to lend support to the ex service personnel in all the British colonial territories. When he visited our studios, they spoke to Leonora Jawara in this interview on the intended plans for the ex-service personnel in West Africa. After serving in the British Army for 10 years, I realized that there was a need to support our own veterans because they take a great deal in supporting their veterans uh, back in the UK. And through that, we were able to lobby and advocate and be able to help raise some funds for veterans, not just in Ghana, but across the world through an organization in the UK called the Royal Commonwealth Ex Service League. So last year, November, um, the UK government approved 11.8 million pounds for 30 countries to be supported across the world, which in West Africa, um, Gambia is one of the um, countries. And basically the beneficiaries will be um, people who fought under the British command or people who fought for the crown before independence. Um, for example, for, for the Gambia, um, the DDR to receive a certain amount of money which will be disclosed to the veterans uh, in the next couple of weeks um, for the next five years. Um, so I have now been appointed as the project officer for West Africa covering the Gambia. Um, I just left there yesterday, um, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Nigeria and Cameroon. And this is a five-year project uh, with the UK government wants to distribute 11.8 million pounds across these countries. Before Sierra Leone got independence, there was a switch. There was a, there was a switch. The British government would have handed over um, the baton to the Sierra Leone government when you got when you gained independence. Mm -hmm. All the soldiers before that time will be eligible for that because they are still classed as, in a way, so served under the British command. They served the crown, and they don't have any pension. I would say. So this is just a way to say thank you for their contributions um, to the war, I think they, some of them even fought in the Second World War, mm -hmm. but these are pre-independence veterans who the UK government want to take um, care of at the moment. Yes. I think it's a very, very good opportunity for me because my dad is a, is a retired um, officer, he, even though um, he's not well within that bracket, well at least it's a way of me serving my country. I left here, I went back to the UK, served the British Army and then came back to um, to give a support to Derek on this project. I think um, for myself to be part of it, it's really, really, really good. You know, and I'm looking forward to support it all the way for these guys to receive the benefit that they needed. Okay. 
Yes, so, uh, yes. So, and the, the Sierra Leone Ex-Service Men's Association had been a conduit uh, between the Royal Commonwealth Health Services League and uh, the war veterans, mostly from the Second World War, and we've been receiving a minimal medical support on a yearly basis to support those people. It, it does. It's a welcome development if the British government can now think actually that they should be of good, of better service to these people after long years and I, I think it's good development and I appreciate their thinking in that line. Okay. Your military number, you should have like um, a discharge book because the army would have given you a discharge book, some medals to prove. But we also have a list um, from the UK of because the UK government gave those pre-independent veterans those army numbers. So there are ways and means which I'll be able to verify and there's a form to fail if we find out that somebody qualifies, um, it's called a Form A, which is pretty much a two, three page form with basic requirements. But also, if the veteran, um, the pre independent veteran has passed away and, and the widow is alive, then the funds will go to the widow. So it doesn't just end with the veteran, because I know that most of them would have probably passed away. This year marks um, 80 years of the beginning of the um, Second World War, which is 1939 mm -hmm. to 1945, so exactly 80 years. So we are looking at most of these um, Second World War or pre-invent veterans being in their 70s or 80s, or probably 90s or more. And now to round up the new sports. Frabe College, University of Sierra Leone, has concluded its annual Interhall Athletic Sports Meeting at the Shaka Stevens Stadium with Baibure Hall Crown Champions with 380 points. Now let's join our sports correspondent, Hilton John, for some sporting updates. Since 2014, no sports and sports is back in FBC. How do you feel? I feel so good because since sports has come back, I'm able to experiment So excited, very happy because I work for it throughout this month. I've been training for this 100 meter. You expecting to get a champion? Yes, of course. Since 2014, no sports for FBC, now sports is back. How do you feel as a student? Very happy. Because this is my talent. I love this game. I'm very happy about that. You won the 200 meter. You happen to, you happen to won the 100 meter. Yeah. What's the secret behind it? Just training. You just have to train. Put your effort in it. Whatever thing that you want to do, just be focused and be, have the uh, 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 passion for the game. Such a wonderful event, especially when we, we've gone almost four years without any sports meet, especially from the Friday College. This is a very new beginning, and I want to thank the Vice Chancellor and the University Administration for giving me this opportunity to have your own chief patron for today. I want to pledge my continuous commitment to not just sports, but to the entire young people of Sarayu. To those viewers, I want to use this opportunity to congratulate the winner for today. Whether it's Adria, the Vice or Solomon Koka, I want to congratulate And by the points or the results given to me, I declare my brother. Congratulations, what does the, the win mean for your house? Well, it means a lot. For the past one month, we've been preparing for this, and it shows that we really prepared. We want to thank God for this big thing. I want to dedicate this trophy to all who have been in and out of Sierra Leone. Of course, special thanks to our whole mistress, 
file for the our on star television network channel 21 i am sienna wright thanks for watching and do stay with us